What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Bowman Inception Baseball just sold out. This is an eight-box half-case break. Two random teams each, number two. And again, guys, uh, this is the second half of the case. We do have more, so I'll post it over three right now. But again, guys, 15 total spots. Everybody gets two random teams in MLB. Find two autograph cards per hobby box. Here we go. Nicholas L., Denalora, and then we got Diamondbacks down to the Nationals. So let's double up your names, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I copied and pasted too much. There we go. All right, so let's roll it. We got ourselves a five and a three eight times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> eight times, five and three eight. Michael Johnson down to Marcus Lindsay. The best food is the worst for you, right, Mike? It's so good. <laughs> Five and three, eight. Eight times here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, like, Mountain Dew was like, what, how, how many times were you drinking that a day, Rex, at one point? I remember Mountain Dew. I liked it a lot. I didn't drink it as much, though. I think I like Code Red a little bit more, though. All right, five, two, three, eight, eight, eight. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Michael Johnson, Dodgers, Raymond, Orioles, Devin, Pirates, Michael Johnson, uh, Gar uh, Guardian, sorry. Raymond with the Nationals, Justin uh, Weber with the A's, Jesse, Rangers, Raymond, Giants, Laura, Blue Jays, uh, Young Jay with the Cardinals, Marcus with the Phillies, Nicholas with the Braves, Michael with the Mariners, Young Jay, with the White Sox, Tristan with the Mets, Justin with the Tigers, Daniel, uh, Daniel, sorry, that is uh, Twins, Nicholas with the Reds, Laura with the Red Sox, Michael Johnson with the Marlins, Michael with the Rays, uh, Tristan with the Royals, Michael Johnson with the Yankees, Raymond with the Angels, Daniel with the Brewers, Jesse with the Astros, Jordan with the Cubs, Devin with the Rockies, Jordan with the Padres, and then Marcus with the Arizona Diamondbacks. All right, if anybody wants to trade, I'll keep the trade window open. So I'm going to pause the video really quick, see if there's any trades. If not, we'll come back and we'll rip. All right, guys, no trades. Just some good convos, though. All right, guys. So these are the remaining eight boxes from... from the case earlier. I will post up another eight box half caser right now. Once I'm done with this. Ooh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. That makes sense. Because I remember, well, I mean, I ended up realizing, well, not that I realized what it was coming from, but I had never experienced that when it came to chest pains. Because when you said chest pains, I was just like, what? But I remember feeling like similar to that, but obviously like when my dad passed away from like COVID and stuff, um, you know, especially the months after when my mom was recovering, I had to do the funeral thing. Like I was always just getting random chest pains, you know, and I was getting nervous thinking like, fuck, is it my health? You know, you know, this and that. So I remember when I finally went to go get checked up, they had just said that it must be stress because you look fine. Like, <laughs> they, did, like they did like a whole heart scan and shit. So I was getting nervous. I thought I had a heart attack or something. Out of 50, Vierto. Then we have a Young uh, Yonkensky Noel to 100, and Rain Dong Kong. But yeah, they basically said it was just more like the stress and everything you were going through, you know. But I thought it was like having a heart attack sometimes, or I felt like my heart was gonna stop. But it was crazy because kind of like how you said similarly, once you stopped, it stopped. But once I figured out what it was, I just remember like a day later or two, it all went away like nothing, dude. It's crazy. It's like I was stressing myself out that it was my body, but then also, you know, stressing out about everything else that was going on. And then it was just amazing because, like, once I realized, okay, I'm good. I'm good. It's probably just this, you know? And then, like, a day later, like, all that pain went away. All 
All right, Gunnar Hovland. Christian Santana. But yeah, this is some good stuff, Big Hockey Guy. I mean, all prospects more than anything, but some very nice cards, though. One Bin Cho. Henry Davis, that's a nice one there. Pirates going to Devon. The one overall pick a couple years ago. And uh, Bayran Bello to 75. Yeah, no, that's one thing too, yeah. Well, they just did it all for precautionary because once I went in, they were like, chest pain? <laughs> They're like, all right, let's 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 check this out first. We have to rule this out first. I was like, oh my God. I was like, serious, dude? I was like, holy shit. It's crazy. Warming burn able to 99. Harry Ford to 200. And then that is a Frank Mazzicato to 75. That's Kansas City. Kansas City Royals, Tristan, Mariners, Michael. So it feels a little heavier than normal. So it might have a patch auto. No, maybe not actually. Got played. Lonnie White to 50. We have a Jonathan Mejia to 200. And a Ryan Kusick to 99. So that's Oakland Athletics going to Justin. And then St. Louis Cardinals going to Young Jay. All right, halfway through, folks. Halfway through. Jackson Joe, Curtis Mean, Diego Cayarta, Yendry Mendez to seventy five. And a Averson Artega to 100. These cars look awesome, dude. That's what, I mean, that's a very big, like, Latino, Mexican thing, is that, like, the doctors are, like, someplace you don't want to go because you don't want to hear what's wrong with you, you know? A lot of, a lot of Latinos, especially, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's everybody, but for the majority part of it, it's, like, you could be dying and I don't want to go to the doctor, you know? But, see, this, the way you got to think about it, though, is that, like, if you go to the doctor, they tell you what's wrong, hopefully, you know, like I said... It's not too late, because the last thing you want to do is finally go because you can't take something no more, and then you realize that you have this, and it could be something super scary where it's like, you only have months, or you only have this, and you're like, holy sh you know? So it's always best to try to go in as early as possible, but obviously it's not that easy. Uh, Jay Allen, 250, uh, 250. and nice, Roderick Arias. He uses this photo from Bowman. Yankees, going to Michael Johnson. Yeah, and that's true, yeah. With, it, with modern medicine nowadays, yeah. You know, they, they could definitely help you out. Especially if you need it, without even knowing it, you know. 
I mean, I, I'll be honest. I don't like to go either, honestly. Because I already know what they're going to tell. I already know what they're going to ask me. I just, when I finally do go, I just don't want it to be worse than what they already told me. <laughs> you know? But if I don't, if I don't, like, I usually go once a year. You know, a couple times. I, I went a couple more times. Especially recently in the last few years with everything that happened. You know, with losing family members and stuff like that. But, you know. It's like, I dread to see my doctor, you know? Alexis Hernandez to 50. Jonathan Clays to 25. And Diego Velasquez to 250. Well, at the end of the day, I think you know your. Bo I think people just have to know their own bodies. If you you feel like something's wrong, then something's wrong. You know, you get you just get those weird feelings and urges. But yeah, it happens in the medical field, obviously. But I don't think you should think that way. It's like, well, what if I just go and then they tell me I'm fine, and then next time I go back, I have cancer. It's like, well, it could have developed that quickly. They don't know, you know. Especially if months and weeks pass by or years. I mean, but. For the most part, I mean, I think nowadays they, they kind of catch the majority of the stuff. And even if they say, no, we don't see anything, you know, maybe you can, like I said, if you know your body, tell them to check this out, check that out. But for the most part, I mean, like I said, I think you kind of just have to know your own body. Colton Kouser. Michael McGreevy to 50. And the last hit is a Felix Valero to 75. Alrighty, folks, and there you go. Another nice break right here. So again, guys, uh, I will post up another 8-box half-caser back on the website. So check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com, guys. Thanks.